the way that I made these cute bookmarkers is that I started with a magic ring right here, or you can use an alternative circle. And I did 10 single crochets here in, in the magic ring. There are three rounds for each circle. I have a circle here and a circle here. And I um, whip stitched the two circles together to attach the head to the body. And I made a tail and I embroidered the head using a triangle shaped for the ears and the nose. And that's how we made this adorable, cute bookmarker. I uh, whip stitched a nice collar here and I used a bead on the collar. And I would suggest using a yarn that's kind of fuzzy, maybe like um, an alpaca yarn. <music> I do have a video on YouTube on how to make a magic circle easy if you want to see a more detailed video. I believe it is a very good technique to make a magic circle. This is the way you would do it if you don't want to do a magic circle. Then you put it back into the first loop and pull through. Now you have a little circle here that you can use. So I'm going to show you another way to do this if you wanted to make a magic circle. You would just make it like a little X and you put the needle down like this, like how we did before. Okay, so now you have a loop around your hook and a, and a loop here, and yarn over, and I'm going to put it into the circle, pull through. And you can, that's how you make a magic circle. So we have done three single crochets into the circle. This circle tighter because we have a big hole here we're just going to pull this and that's pull this and that's going to make the circle tighter now we're going to find the chain of two which is right here and we're going to slip stitch this and we're going to have our magic circle or our, our alternative circle depending on what you like finished 
So I'm just pulling this string back here and that makes it tighter. Round two. So you may be wondering how many stitches will be done in this. Well, we did 10 in the first in the circle. So we're going to be going in increments of 10. So round two would be 20. Round, round two, we're going to do 20. And we're going to increase in every stitch. You increase, you're just going to do two single stitch, two single crochets in each stitch. That's how you increase. We're going to find our first hit, stitch and we are going to do single crochet. Okay, so I already, so I have one, okay? Now we're gonna do two right in the same stitch. We are at the end of round two and we need to slip stitch at the end of each round. So you're just gonna put your material in your stitch, yarn over, Pull through. Now you have two loops and then you're going to pull through. So now we have completed our round. Now we're going to do round three and we're going to increase every other stitch. Please subscribe to my page, my YouTube page, Tiffany's Crafts, and like so you can here and see all the updated videos that I make. We are going to begin the second circle. Okay, so we're in round three. And actually, before we finish this, I'm going to take out a couple stitches here. I'm going to take out two stitches. Okay, now we're going to make the ears here on this. Okay, so we're going to make the ears, we want the stitch to be larger. I'm not going to do a double crochet. That's that stitch is going to be too large. So I'm going to do a half double crochet, which is abbreviated HDC in US terms. It's a larger stitch than your single crochet. So we're going to wrap our yarn, find our stitch, and put our stitch through. Our, put our crochet hook through the V-stitch, wrap, pull the yarn through the stitch. Now we have three loops on the hook. Now we're going to wrap and pull through all three stitches. There's our little ear. I'm going to do two, I'm going to do this stitch here with a half double crochet as well. So we're going to just wrap our yarn, put it through the stitch, wrap, pull through our stitch, now we have three, and we're going to wrap and pull through all three. Okay, now we got a cute little ear. Now the next stitch, which is actually the first stitch, we're going to slip stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna do a slip stitch. There we go. So we now we have our, our, a cute little ear, and you can see how that sticks up a little bit more than the other stitches. 
Now, if you don't like that, the way that that looks, you can always do try a, a um, double crochet. Okay, so now we are at the beginning of the fourth row. We're not going to go far. We're going to just going to finish this ear here. So we're going to do that at about right here. So we're going to do a single crochet here, which would be the first stitch in round four. Okay, and then we're going to begin our, our um, half double crochet. So we're going to wrap, go through the stitch, wrap, pull through your stitch. You have three wrap and pull through all three stitches and if you don't like the way that this looks you can always block your yarn to give it that cat ear shape if it doesn't work and then we're going to shape the circle like that Like this, we're going to shape the face so it's not so round, but a little bit more oval like just by moving around a little bit, pulling on these ears a little bit to make them more shaped. And there you got your little cat. And then um, you're going to go into this stitch. Next stitch. And we are going to do a slip stitch and we're done with that. Now, now I did an extra stitch here and I have it a stitch going downward and the way that I did that is I took my material and I went like this and I pulled it through into this bottom stitch. And I started some embroidery. I made a little ear here. It's a triangle. It's not a Danish knot. I felt that the Danish knot was not appropriate for this. So I just took some pink yarn, very thin, the thinnest pink yarn that I could find, not embroidery thread. And you're just going to make a knot at one end and you're going to thread your needle. The needle that I'm using is um, what I use for loom knitting. It's this one and thread it through the eye. So in order to make this, I began by doing the bottom triangle first, the bottom part right here. So I'm inserting it like this. And knowing that this is the corner of the ear. So we want the corner, like this corner here. We want this corner to be in the same direction as this corner. So first we're gonna start with here on the bottom right here. down and we're going to go, and we're, what we want is a straight edge straight line okay so now we have that now we're going to go Okay, we're going to go up. We're going to find that point in the ear, which is about right here. Make sure it's even with this ear, this side of the ear, as much as possible. And then um, we're going to go through, through like this. And we're going to 
go down here like that. So we have this and we have this done. Now we want to get back to the point. So we're going to go down here. And now again, we can go up to here to finish this point. We're just making a simple triangle. So we have that done. And then we're going to knot it. And then we're going to do the nose the same way. Except for when we do the nose, the point is down. Like right here, we have the point going up. We're going to have a point down. So we're going to have the point down. And it's going to go like that way. So we're going to have a straight edge going across here and a point here. Um, knot it. So it would kind of... You could also embroider maybe um, with a French knot if you wanted to. If you didn't have green beads, I just happen to have green beads, so I'm going to use green beads. It kind of is going to look like that. All right, so I'm going to th thread this. I'm going to put the needle in first into the metal part here. Okay, so we got the needle through. And we're just going to put the bead through like that. Okay, we have a knot on this side. If you don't like the placement of the eye, you can always take it out and start again. I was, I did a lot of embroidery and I just did a, like a sleepy eye, which is just like the straight part of the triangle. See where you have the triangle right here and it goes straight? Well, if you just did that for where the eye is, It'd be a really cute little sleepy eye. So we have the little face done. Isn't that cute? Now we are going to whip stitch the little face to the body. We're going to work in the back loops. And um, if you don't like the way it looks, you can always redo it. Okay, but I'm going to knot this. And uh, with whip stitching, you're going to be working in this direction, not back and forth. I do have a video on YouTube on how to whip stitch. It's a little more extensive video. If you want to see that, if you have any questions on it or want to review, I think it's how to whip stitch uh, a hat together and a whip stitching scarf together. How to whip stitch um, granny squares together. So I think I have about like three videos online on, on 
my page Tiffany's Crafts on how to rip stitch. Make sure that you get into the stitch in the back loop. So to do the tail, I just took this material and folded it. Same material that I made the, the body and the face of the cat. Trim it. You could use pinking shears if you're concerned about it fraying. And then we're going to knot this part right here where we have the loop. Okay, so I'm going to be making my tail on the left side about right here. And then I'm going to braid it. So it's going to look like that. Knot this end to here. 